Top 8 Upcoming Chinese Historical Drama Starring 95 Flowers in 2024 These days, Chinese dramas, especially historical idol dramas, are almost completely dominated by post-95 actors. It not just Zhao Liu Su and Zhu Shu Xin. Recently, Wang Xu Ran from IU The One and Zhou Ji Ran from Go East are both post-95 as well. There are also Zhou Jie, Zhang Jingji, and Tian Qi Wei. And they are all have big historical dramas waiting to be aired. Which of these young stars will break through the competition? Here are 8 major historical dramas featuring these post-95 actresses. After playing the village chef in Are You The One, Wang Churan will play a stunning female spy in Hidden Shadow. While Zhao Lu Su will play a jeweler and the story of pure girl. Number 1. Wang Chu Ran play a stunning and cool female spy in Hidden Shadow. After playing the female village sheep in Are You The One, Wang Chu Ran is set to play a female spy in Hidden Shadow. This historical martial arts drama is adapted from the web novel, the Spusudo song Asun's Diary. Wang Chu-ran teams up with Li Hongyi to tell the story of a quirky girl named Anjiu, who had a steel soul. As she grows into a royal female spy and faces various challenges, encountering the young general Chu Ding Jiang along the way. Wang Chu-ran looks stunning in all the sharp women, warrior looks in the Ayu the one. She has a beautiful yet slightly heroic vibe. In Hidden Shadow, her character is also a cool and fierce leading lady, just like Liu Mian Tang in Ayu the one, so this role shall should suit her perfectly. The director of Hidden Shadow is the same as that of My Journey to You, Guo Jingming. He has a good eye for beauty, so he should be able to make Wang Chiran look amazing. Wang Chiran and Li Hongqi as a pairing also looks great. Li Hongqi is a solid 188 cm tall, which should work well with Wang Chiran's 172 cm. Number 2. Zhao Lu Su plays a pearl collecting girl who makes a comeback to become a jeweler in the story of her girl. After her role in the fairy fantasy drama, The Last Immortal, Zhao Lu Su took on historical drama, The Story of Pearl Girl, partnering with Liu Juni for the second time. The Story of Pearl Girl is a big female lead business drama set in the Tang Dynasty. Zhao Lu Su's Tang outfit in the long ballad was really impressive, and her look in The Story of Pearl Girl is equally bright and luxurious. She really suits Tang Dynasty costumes. In The Story of Pearl Girl, Chao Lu Su plays a pearl collecting girl named Zhuan Wu, who escaped from the pearl market to avoid being mistreated. To uncover her true identity, Zhuan Wu joins the merchant Zhan Ji Jin's caravan and cleverly makes on jewelry deal after another, opening the door to the world of gemstones. Number 3. Yu Shu Xian plays a quirky college student who gets pulled into a melodramatic novel in Love Game Eastern Fantasy. Love Game in Eastern Fantasy, like Love Between Fairy and Devil, is produced by the Xinxian Gravity Team, and the costume style is somewhat similar, both featuring an Eastern Fantasy vibe. They brought back Zhu Shu Xian to team up with Ding Su Qian again. Initially, the success of Love Between Fairy and Devil made fans quite optimistic about Love Game in Eastern Fantasy, but the team's still later productions. Love You Seven Times and Fox Spirit Matchmaker, Red Moon Park didn't live up to their hype, which has raised concern about how Love Game in Eastern Fantasy will perform. Love Game in Eastern Fantasy is adapted from the popular novel Black Lotus Strategy Guide and its plot is pretty fresh, featuring a storyline where characters get pulled into a novel system. The story follows a math major named Liang Miao Miao, who accidentally finds herself in the melodramatic fantasy novel Demon Catcher, turning into the character she hates the most, a cannon fodder female psychic. She forced to complete a mission to win over the ruthless and self-conditioned second male lead, Mu Sheng. But surprisingly, Mu Sheng starts to take an interest in her. Number 4. Tian Xia Wei plays an innocent and carefree princess in Guardians of the Dai Feng. Tian Xia Wei is a rising star from the post-95 generation who has gained a lot of attention in the past couple of years. 
She sings as a potential top tier actress following Zhao Lusu and Zhu Shuxin. Several of her upcoming dramas are generating buzz, especially the period dramas Guardians of the Dead Fame and Moonlit Reunion, where the stars alongside handsome actors William Hedi and Chu Kai. The first one to premiere is likely to be Guardians of the Dead Fame, featuring Wang Hedi. This is a big male lead historical drama directed and written by the team behind My Heroic Husband. However, the spotlight will probably be on Wang Hedi as a main character. In the drama, Tian Chi Wei plays Princess Lian, who is in nonsense and playful, knows how to be cute without being bratty. So far, every costume released for Guardians of the Dead Thing shows Tian Chi Wei looking more stunning than ever. Number 5. Zhou Jie plays a cross-dressing, dashing female general in Legend of the Female General. After the huge success of the double, many historical dramas adapted from rebirth novels have caught people's attention. And Zhou Jie and Zhuang Lei as a Legend of the Female General is one of the most talked about. Legend of the Female General is adapted from Chuan Shan, Jake's novel, Rebirth of the Female General Star, written by the same authors as the double. This drama features a dashing female general versus a cool, handsome J-faced commander, making for a double general setup. In Legend of the Female General, Zhou Jie plays He Ke Jian, a born general who has fought on the battlefield for years in place of her brother while wearing a mask. However, when her brother returns, the family sets her up. He Jian narrowly escapes death and vows to reclaim everything she lost. She disguises herself as a man again, but as soon as she joins the army, she runs into a hard arch nemesis, the young general Xiao Jui, known for his brilliant mit military tactics and fearsome reputation. Number 6. Zhang Jingji plays a charismatic and charming boss lady in Zhang Hai Zhuan. Zhang Jingji used to get a lot of flack online for not being suited for period dramas, but this year, her leading role in Blossom in Adversity premiered and received great reviews, raising viewers' expectations for her upcoming projects. In the next drama, Zhang Hai Chuan, she'll be staring alongside Xiao Chuan. This an S plus level historical power struggle drama produced by Yo Ku and directed by Zhang Xiaolong. The director of Impresses in her the palace, so it definitely has a top-notch team behind it. In Jiang Jai Chuan, Xiao Chuan plays Shanghai, who is the son of the head of the Imperial Astronomical Bureau of the Dayong Kingdom. After his family is wiped out on night when he was a child, he grows up under a new identity, Shanghai, and returns to the capital to seek revenge. Along the way, he meets the boss lady Xiang An Tzu, played by Chuang Jinxi. She's smart, mature, and complex constantly toying with Chiang Hai, pushing him to the edge, yes, also saving him from danger time and again. The chemistry is really captivating. Number 7. Liu Zhu Xiao stars in Zhu Zheng's new drama Perfect March, playing the fierce and bold third daughter of the Li family. Liu Zhu Xiao is a rising star who has gained popularity over the past year. She often referred to as the supporting actress specialist among the 95 flowers. From the longest promise, love you seven times, and my journey to you, to her latest role in Blossoms in Advertisement. She has played many second female leads. Last year, she gained some fame. She was supporting role in Yu Shu Jin's My Journey to You. Liu Yi Xiao finally gets to play the female lead in the new drama Perfect March. It's a new show produced by Zhu Zheng, set in the Song Dynasty, and it tells the comedic story of Li Niangji moving to Bianjiang with her five daughters to find suitable matches for them. There are five couples in the show, and Liu Yu Xiao is paired with Wang Xingjue from the double. She plays the bold and spirited director San Niang who unexpectedly meets the noble-born Chai Ang, and as they interact back and forth, romantic feelings start to develop between them. Number 8. Ren Min plays a high-born young lady who ventures out to start her own business in The Rise of Ning. The Rise of Ning is adapted from the popular novel The Training Manual for the First Assistant. 
which is also a rebirth story. However, it looks like there are quite a few changes. It tells the story of Liu Qinian, the daughter of the Liu family, who can't stand how everyone bullies the brother Liu Shen Yuan. She lends him a helping hand multiple times and gradually discovers what seems like his downfall is actually just him being talented in both literature and martial arts. Luo Jining refused to stay trapped in her home and is de determined to use her skills to start her own business and achieve independence. The Rise of Ning has all of the beloved elements of palace intrigue, but the combination of Chang Wanji and Ren Min has drawn a lot of skepticism from netizens. Last year, Ren Min's costume look in the longest promise received a ton of black lash, and Jiang Wanji isn't exactly going for a pretty boy vibe either. Unfortunately, many viewers of historical dramas are look focused and they just love high visuals. In another historical drama staring Jiang Wanji, Are You the One? At least Wang Ju Ran's looks help it out. But a lot of netizens are worried about the rise of Ning.